and has our 2017 October 1st enrollment at 32.17. And now we're at 32.46. So where'd all those extra kids come from? Yeah, that 30, 32.17 is not a number. Mark, you gave this to us at a board meeting. Yeah, I'm looking at it. It's the history, right? Yeah. Is it history? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you told us recently that we're at 32.17, which just put us <coughs> panic about enrollment, that we shouldn't be as panicked as we thought, is what you're saying, Bill. Is that correct? In terms of being on target for budget. Yeah, the, the numbers that I have on the sheet were um, full submitted to the state uh, okay. in December. But so this number here is wrong. Why? I don't. <coughs> When, when you do our submissions, mm -hmm. when you do them periodically, and the last so submission the for, the, for the first, right? <clears throat> right. I'm just saying, if you're getting numbers from the state in December, they, they No, I'm looking at October, October 1st on his chart is 32.46. October 1st on the chart for Dr. Larson is 32.17. I'm trying to understand the difference. If it's an increase in enrollment, or if it's... I wonder if passages, if that passage, can play a role. Transitions. Yeah, the transitions program, 18 and students there, but we're 23 different. Okay. That could account for 18. But this is the number that we have enrolled that means our budget of what we, we're not, we're not at 32, so we're And that might be K-12, one maybe. This yeah. doesn't yeah. K-12, so this, yeah. this includes ECSE and transitions, and this does not. And I took out the PSEL. You took out PSEL, okay, thank you. So I'm sorry, the one on yours, Includes transitions and what else? Did you say ECFE? No. ECFE. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. Really special. All these acronyms. Yes, oh, thank yeah. you. I yep. misheard that. Good question. There's just so many. <coughs> A lot of numbers. Yeah. 